Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a pick a card reading on what is going to come for you in the summer. So we have group one, group two, group three, group four, and let's get started. So starting off with group number one, see what you have going on in the summer. Hello group number one, thank you so much for clicking on this video. Today we have the Aura Court, which I am absolutely in love with. It's so stunning. I think it's going to be another one of my favourite crystals. It's so pretty. This is metal coated as well, so you can get different colours of these. I'm just going to pop that there. Okay, so let's see what you've got going on in the summer. So from the uh, Fairy Oracle, we have new location. Okay, so this could mean that you're going to be moving into a new location. This could be like a physical location, or this could be an emotional location, like you could just be moving into a different almost realm of your life in terms of emotions from the crystal oracle we have courage and clarity from the tarot we have the knight of swords and the magician and then from the moon oracle a time for healing your commitment is being tested you deserve love make the effort stay optimistic about your love life and amethyst intuition third eye chakra so there's a lot of information here so let me just have a look into the cards and we'll see what is coming through for you okay so you're going to get clarity about a certain situation this could actually be about a certain romantic partner because we have the knight of swords this could also mean that you're going to even start a new relationship because we have the magician. There's just going to be a newness around some sort of area in your life. So it could be to do with money. You could even be moving to a new job. This could be you're moving into a new relationship. I don't see a massive amount of commitment here. I see more of like you're meeting a new person. You're seeing how it goes. I'm not seeing a massive like, wow, there's a massive relationship. I'm seeing more as in like you're single and you're just with somebody dating. You're not essentially actually with them boyfriend girlfriend yet yeah. or girlfriend girlfriend boyfriend boyfriend doesn't really matter about <laughs> the gender okay so it says you deserve love make the effort and stay optimistic about your love life so essentially you could actually be in a relationship in the season afterwards or in winter because basically like you're still going through a part of your life where you're still being tested about your commitment to yourself essentially because so we've got your commitment is being tested and make the effort so it's almost like the universe is still saying like you need to make the effort towards yourself um obviously if you aren't single then this is going to be a different story this could just mean that you need to essentially give yourself more love um obviously i'm getting a sense that you might actually want to break up with somebody but this isn't this you, you basically already know if this is going to happen this is not exactly a future prediction in that sense because we have you just have love and make the effort so it's almost like you haven't been making the effort so much or somebody hasn't been making the effort towards you so that might be you kind of separating in that sense okay so obviously i'm not saying break up but if you feel like there's almost a breakup coming forward i feel like that might actually be where you're going to split and possibly you're moving into a new another house or something like that okay so i feel like your intuition is going to be really really high i feel like you could be meeting a few new people and getting really into your intuition kind of you can almost be practicing how you are going to be connecting with another person so your intuition is going to be really high so you're going to have a really good idea of how you feel about somebody once they come into your life okay so meeting new people you're going to have a really good idea of how you feel with somebody else so it's almost like you're going to have an idea of what somebody's like when you first meet them without them even saying anything, which is really, really good. I like that. So yeah, I definitely see you moving to a new location. You could even be going on holiday if that's what you want to do. Uh, I mean, who doesn't love a good holiday, <laughs> to be honest? And yeah, there's definitely some sort of newness coming forward. I definitely feel like there's some sort of connect connection or commitment is going to be in the starting... Starting... The start it's gonna start some sort of commitment is gonna start i don't feel like an actual connection as i said i feel like it's more like dating you're gonna be you're gonna know that this person is around and you're gonna be interested in them but i don't see you actually getting with each other until like possibly autumn or winter time okay so that is what i'm seeing for you guys um i'm just gonna pull a couple of animal oracle cards and see what else is coming through what does group one need to know about some of these thank you very much Underneath the deck, we have freedom is yours. So this is what I'm saying. There might be a breakup of some sort, or you could just be kind of breaking up from new, from new, from toxic relationships and getting new friends. That's where I was going with that. We have make your dreams real and bring a gentle touch. So there's definitely a newness going along. I think because there's such a big shift, you're gonna have to be really gentle with yourself, which is what they're telling me. And because this is such a, a big time, I feel like for you, 
it's going to be quite a big shift just be really gentle with yourself and just know that this is a sensitive time but it's okay just know that it's going to be okay just keep going forward and love yourself in the process okay so thank you so much for watching if you'd like to subscribe to my channel down below the red button is down there also if you'd like to comment down below if it's resonated like if you like this video also if you'd like to get a private reading with me all the information is down below you can connect with me on email or instagram also if it didn't resonate i always forget to say this if it didn't resonate let it fly or choose another group bye guys Hello group number two, thank you so much for clicking on this video. Let's see what is going on for you in the summertime. We have this gorgeous opalite pebble. I freaking love opalite. I've been buying some new crystals and this one was on my list. I just think it's stunning, it's absolutely gorgeous. So let's see what you have going on in the summer. We have romantic partner, ooh, that's exciting. We have the star. Solutions, oh God, I love this already. Engagement, reconciliation. Let go of control issues. Oh, lapis lazuli problems resolved. Third eye and throat chakras. We have the eight of swords and communication is key. Whoa, holy crap. <laughs> this reading is amazing, okay? I am really excited for this. Oh my God, okay. So can I just say that you chose group number two and this is about partnerships with just the number two, okay? Just wanted to put that out there. I'm getting really sassy because I'm excited. We have romantic partner, the star, solutions, engagement, reconciliation, and communication is key. I'm pretty sure someone's going to come towards you with some communication. If it's not going to be in summer, it's going to be around the end of the year, okay? Because we have someone who is divinely guided towards you, who is going to be in a romantic partner partnership with you, okay? This is going to be somebody who you're going to have some sort of solution with. If you're not in partnership right now, you are going to have a, some sort of solution with this person, okay? So yes, you are definitely going to have a solution. We have engagement, reconciliation, and let go of control issues. It's almost like it's telling me, let go of the con let go of the control of the connection. If you keep possibly watching pick a card readings, getting some kind, of, some kind of intense intuition that this is going to carry on, then I'm pretty sure you are going to be together and you're going to come into reconciliation, okay? If you don't know anybody, there's going to be somebody coming forward for you who you're really going to be in a good connection with. Possibly, I'm pretty sure you're going to be in a romantic connection with somebody. And this is a lot for the people who have, who have been single for a really, really long time, okay? Obviously, this is more for single people. Obviously, this could even be somebody, if you're even in a relationship, it could be somebody coming forward from your past, possibly an old love person or a love person an old lover or it could be an old friend obviously you don't have to go forward with this new lover if you're already with somebody but that's kind of what i'm seeing okay so it's definitely a commitment of some sort a higher level of commitment more than just a boy more than just like dating this is more like you're going to be in a relationship with each other i love this reading so much because we have solutions we have communication is key and just to top it all off we have problem resolved resolved i said that really weird <laughs> problem resolved this is going really along with solutions and communication is key there's going to be communication this could even be someone for who is a water sign or an aquarius because with the communication or even a gemini actually communication is key with this i feel like the water signs are coming through really really strongly because of the blue i'm just really attracted to the blue because we've got lapis lazuli here which is also blue so there's going to be a throat sharp coming in we've got a third eye and throat chakra so this is definitely going to be a communication from or you're going to communicate towards a spiritual divine soulmate twin flame connection but we have a third eye and throat we also have the throat chakra here we have the third eye again it's like guys you're gonna you're gonna be in connection with this person it's like whether you like it or not. Obviously you want to because I'm, I'm hearing that a lot of you guys are really happy. I'm getting the word happy very, very strongly. So you've been working on control, controlling this situation and working on your control issues. It could even be codependency. I feel like a lot of you guys are working on that and are, are very aware of that. So it says reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. Okay. I love this so much. This this card is my favourite card because it's so beautiful, it's so bright, and it really reminds me of Opalite. I just rhymed. <laughs> it really reminds me of Opalite because it's very bright, it's very blue, it's very vivid, it's very high vibrational. I just love it. Absolutely gorgeous. So that's what's happening for you guys in summer. Very love related, but also it could just be generally you're letting go of a lot of old stuff and somebody new is coming in because you're letting go of it. 
don't overthink this. This is an overthinking card. I'm definitely feeling that. It's like too much stuff going on in the head. Ground yourself, make sure you ground yourself and to know that it's gonna be okay. I know that things are a bit tough and maybe you're having a bit of trouble communicating, but you will, it will be resolved, okay? Because we've got solutions here and it's just, it's amazing. And we have a lot of, that's so weird, it just flashed. Did you see that? The light just flashed and it's not even, I'm using, I'm using sunlight, so how does that even work? I'm really confused. Anyway, <laughs> the heavens are ascending, the heavens are opening. <laughs> So yeah, there's definitely a divinely guided connection and your intuition is going to be so high, okay? You, I feel like you're going to be meeting new friends as well um, and also meeting new soul family, okay? So that's what you guys got. I love this reading. So thank you so much for watching, guys. If you'd like to get a private reading with me, all the information is down below. Don't forget to subscribe, like and comment on this video if it's resonated. Also, uh, if it didn't resonate, then just choose another group or just let it fly. So thank you so much for watching and I'll speak to you very soon. Bye! Hello group number three, let's see what's going on for you in the summertime. So we have new opportunity, conclusions are within reach, balance spirituality and practicality, expect powerful change, Time take time to breathe out. For the tarot we have the lovers, gorgeous. We have communication, balance, romantic feelings, children, playfulness and Pronite, I think it's yeah, that's how you pronounce it, release and declutter, heart chakra. Oh, there's a lot of stuff going on here. So definitely is some sort of love coming in for sure because we have the lovers and we also have communication. So I'm seeing a lot of clear communication. I also see if you if you're not interested in anybody, I'm seeing for you guys, some of you really aren't interested in anybody. If that's you, then I just see you kind of balancing out your communication and kind of figuring out how to communicate with your person or communicating how to how to communicate with people, how to really tell people how you feel, okay? This is gonna be really vital for you to balance out your spirituality and practicality. This is gonna be really, really good for you. I feel like, whoa, whoa, my, my third eye is really pulsing right now. That was a definite synchronicity because my third eye feels really sore now. People say it's between your eyebrows, but I sometimes feel it in the middle of my um, forehead. So definitely take time to breathe out because you're going to go through a really dramatic change and conclusions are within reach. Guys, you've got something really big coming for you. But just take your time. Just be gentle with yourself. It's going to be okay. Right? So we have some romantic feelings coming through. You could also be having a child at this time. And there's going to be a lot of playfulness. So I definitely feel like for some of you, there's romantic feelings towards somebody who has children or you might want to have children with somebody who you have romantic feelings for. There's just some sort of love going around. It's very light-hearted, very lovely energy. I feel like somebody could actually be coming towards you with communication because this communication card is normally of that. Um, the lovers is next to communication, so I definitely feel like there's something around that. If it's not in summertime, it will be a little bit later on, possibly in autumn, winter time, but it will be near the end of the year. It will be the end, end section of 2019, okay? Whether it be summer, whether it be autumn or winter. We have a new opportunity, so this could even be a new opportunity in love. It could be with money, it could be with a job with possibly even an opportunity to move or to travel. It depends what you're looking for. I definitely feel like there's, it's gonna come forward, whatever you are looking for, okay? I love that we have conclusions in reach because it just kind of brings the whole thing together. With the heart chakra, we have release and declutter with new opportunities. So definitely you could actually be actually physically decluttering things out of your life. You could have broken up with somebody. Obviously this isn't a, this isn't a future, prediction when I'm saying breaking up with somebody you would have, you would have already broken up with them now but in the summer you would have just been clustering and kind of get rid of a lot of stuff in your life I'm definitely seeing a lot of you guys are feeling wanting to stay more single in this 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 group but I feel like you could but for some of you if you're not if you're wanting somebody there is some people around you who are interested in you and who are wanting to get intimate with you um possibly just on a sexual level or even more okay so with the, as I said, with the heart chakra, a new opportunity, this is definitely a new opportunity for you to open yourself up wholeheartedly. And if you feel like you need a bit of support, Prena is here to support you. I'm definitely getting, what else did I get in? Clear quartz and selenite because they're very soft, they're very soft kind of helpful crystals. They're just kind of an overall crystal, which is really good. They're not too strong either. They're really good for your um, third eye and your crown chakra as well. 
Okay, so I'm definitely seeing a powerful change coming through in the summertime. It's, but you've got to take time to breathe out, okay? It's going to be quite a big shift. It's going to be a really good one, though. It's going to be, like, quite huge. You might not see it come in. It might just kind of slap you in the face. But when I say slap you in the face, it's going to be like, whoa, okay, shock. It's going to be like a shock, okay? I love the fact we have the lovers here because I feel like you're definitely going to be balancing out your communication in your relationships, whether it even be in friendships or relationship i definitely feel like there's a, there's a gemini possibly around you gemini pisces um and possibly a taurus i'm getting that so random i haven't picked out zodiacs for a lot of the other groups but those two those is what i was really really feeling okay so i also feel like the full moon in the summertime is going to be really really powerful for you whatever full moon is going to be in that space between uh june and september or whatever the time frame is i put on this video so yeah, it's going to be really, really powerful for you guys. There's a lot of changes coming and I'm really, really happy that it's coming through. I'm just, I'm feeling very, very, <sighs> very, it's like completion. I think it's going to be a completion coming for you guys. So thank you so much for clicking on this video. I really hope this helped. If this resonated, don't forget to comment down below. Subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more like this. And also like this video if you like this video. Also, I do private readings. If you want to get a private reading with me, all the information is down below in the description. All of the options are listed, so you can just choose from there. You can connect me on Instagram, or you can get me through email. So thank you so much for being here, and I'll speak to you very soon. Bye, guys. Hello, group number four. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Let's see what's coming for you in summertime. So we have higher consciousness, prosperity lies ahead, show the world the real you. And parenting and children we also have from the tarot page of pentacles seven of wands two of swords moon two of wands boundaries i love this card ground i love it is so pretty i love this card it's so pretty boundaries ground insight compassion Nature cycles. I picked so many cards for you guys. Prosperity. Keep an open mind. True love. Soulmate. We also have Cinnabar Business Sacral Chakra and Citrine Solar Plexus Chakra. Oh my god, that's so funny. We have Citrine here. Ah, that's so cool. Look at that. Double Citrine. That's really good. I'm really, I'm really proud of myself for doing that. I didn't, I don't see these cards when I picked them out, so that's really interesting. Wow. Okay, you guys have definitely got a soulmate around you, whether you're going to be with them or not at this time. There is a soulmate around you, and it's definitely a true love soulmate. So this is somebody who you're going to love, not just on a friendship level, but on a romantic level. Like, yeah, definitely. This is definitely somebody who you've been connecting with on a 5D level. And you've definitely been kind of working on your crown chakra and your third eye because there's definitely some high consciousness stuff going on around you. I feel like you've been manifesting and things are coming to fruition in the summertime, okay? So we have business, abundance and creativity. Yeah, this is definitely what I was feeling with the high consciousness. As I said, you're manifesting in business and creativity. So it's almost like you could be creating a new business. You could just be very fruitful within your labor within to do with money you could just be working on a really good uh, business endeavor and it could just be turning out really really well i think that's definitely what's coming through keep an open mind with this relationship as well that's coming forward um it may not come forward in the way you think it might do and it may not be what you think it is okay so it doesn't mean that they're going to be completely different when they come back if you're waiting on communication but it will be it might not just be at a time when you think it's going to come it might just suddenly reappear if you don't have anyone, there is just going to be a soulmate coming forward for you. And it's going to be someone who you're going to really, really love, okay? So I see there's going to be some hidden emotions wanting to come through. I'm feeling this pushing and this rattling. I'm here seeing like these massive doors rattling. And it's almost like they're going to rattle and then they're going to suddenly burst open and communication is going to come through, okay? So it's definitely going to be a connection of communion coming together. I feel like there's definitely some sort of options coming forward. I feel like... If, they, if you're connecting with somebody, you're both thinking about what you really want. I'm seeing travel coming through as well. But I feel like you're kind of closing off your heart a little bit from what's happened in the past. They're telling me that that's going to be okay. Don't worry about it. You're going to be really successful in your career. And the love, the love life is going to sort itself out because we have um, prosperity. And I'm seeing this as a heart chakra as well. So I'm feeling like you're really working on that too, which is really, really good. So make sure to stay grounded. 
especially in your boundaries okay so if someone's coming forward who you think is negative and doesn't really suit you make sure to ground yourself and to keep boundaries from that person because this is going to help you to manifest so you don't want current people coming in to almost dimming your light or pushing you in a direction that you shouldn't be pushed in in a, in a negative direction i mean by the way not in just any direction i mean not a negative one so you're definitely going through a cycle if this cycle needs to happen it's something that is very natural cycle I feel like you maybe could have pushed it a little bit too much, but the universe is saying don't push, it's fine. You're going to be with somebody who you really, really love. You're going to be working on yourself really well, and it's just going to be coming through really good. I love the way we've got nature cycle and prosperity right next to each other. It basically means that you're going to have a lot of compassion for yourself. I feel like you're going to develop a, a better connection with yourself on a self-love kind of basis. And you're also going to be showing the world the real you. We have oh, we have prosperity twice as well. That's so cool. I love this reading. This is this synchronicities are out of control with this reading. Um, this is so funny. Also, if you're looking for the number three, I feel like that's very um, very prominent because we just had three 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 on the clock. Okay, so we have show the world the real you. This is coming forward for as I said, keep people away from you, keep the boundaries, and make sure you ground because you're showing the world the real you. And I feel like it's going to be really really important because it's basically like you need to the more authentic you're going to be the more prosperity you're going to have so we have prosperity lies ahead new moon in taurus and we also have prosperity here okay so there's double prosperity which is amazing you can also be connecting with a taurus or an aquarius doesn't have to be and i'm also seeing all the water signs and all the earth signs possibly a fire sign in there i'm seeing aries leo and virgo capricorn Libra, Aquarius, probably already said that, I think. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm, yeah, that's what I'm seeing, okay? I definitely feel like, as I said, your business is going to really, really thrive in the summer. I just love that we have citrine and citrine together, that's amazing. That hasn't happened before, that's so cool. And we also have the fact, I love the fact we have soulmate and true love, and we're right next to each other. Beautiful, you're going to be working a lot on the moon, on the, uh, sorry, not the moon you're going to be working on your emotions very well and I think you're going to be really successful someone's going to be coming forward to you they could even be moving forward towards you as well we also have insight and compassion this is basically what I was saying with self-love and showing the world the real you you're going to keep having insights the more you ascend the more you improve yourself the more insights you're going to have the more your mind is going to expand and going to be blown and you're going to be like wow this is actually how I want to be treated now in the past I don't know how I've almost part with that because now I really am showing the real the real me and having a lot of compassion myself be kind to yourself almost parent yourself like a child and you could always as I say you could I don't know if I, if I said this before I don't know if I said this but you could even be having a child obviously if you're expecting one you wouldn't be having it now because I've uploaded this in June so and this is summer so yeah if you're expecting a child then that's what's going to come through which is lovely so congratulations if that's you also i feel like you could want a child with somebody you could want a high level of commitment with somebody and yeah you're gonna have insight and compassion which is amazing i love this so much i just love how we've got summit and true love it just makes me so happy when that happens because it's just a gorgeous combination okay just try and get out of this energy don't push and don't push anything away unless it's obviously unless it's negative okay because we've got the two of swords and the moon and we've got the two of wands so it's almost like you are confused about how to communicate your emotions so it's almost like blocking myself block, blocking myself off blocking myself off showing who i am and then blocking myself off again okay so just make sure to keep the emotions flowing and to really communicate how you feel and um look after yourself and as i said send yourself a lot of love talk to your guides if you need to um, work on your meditation with your high consciousness and expand your third eye and your throat chakra and your crown chakra i actually meant to say just your crown chakra but the other ones came up too you could also be connecting very strongly with a cancerian as well if you want to see and a pisces okay so also taurus yeah okay and aquarius <laughs> okay i know i said this before i just wanted to reiterate they kept telling me i don't know why but i'm getting a picture of a table oh you're stable you're stable okay that's what they're, that's what they're telling me you're stable and you're gonna be creating a solid foundation i'm getting the four of wands energy I'm getting two two and two so it's almost like it could be a twin flame coming together and it could just be a solid foundation um, between you and somebody else you could be even moving in with somebody as i said 
with the um what did I say that? No, I didn't. Yeah, you could be moving in with somebody, I feel like, as well. Okay, so thank you so much for for watching this video. If you didn't resonate, then uh pick enough group or just let it fly. If you'd like to get a personal reading with me, all the information is down below, all the options are listed. And if you'd like to subscribe to my channel, the button is down below. Also, if you'd like to like and comment, if that would be great. I would love that. <laughs> Just comment down below if this resonated. If it didn't, as I say, let it fly off. Choose another group. And I'll speak to you very soon. Bye, guys.